love him. Best thing ever happened to me. He's my everything. William Morrison and his wife have been married 22 years. Their relationship recently put to the test when doctors told William he had a type of blood cancer uh, no. known as follicular lymphoma. This life-altering diagnosis shaking his entire family. I was pretty upset. I was working uh, one day, um, and then I had gotten the call, and they said, you have you tested positive for a small B-cell lymphoma. Um, and, you know, I couldn't really believe it at first. And then you know, I told my wife, and she was very upset, and it was just a pretty terrible time. I was just very, very scared. You were afraid you would lose him? Yes. After traditional treatments of radiation and chemotherapy failed, William, who lives in Holbrook, Long Island, enrolled in a clinical trial at Mount Sinai Hospital. All the glowing white stuff you see was his chemotherapy-resistant lymphoma, and you can see there's quite a bit of it. This stuff all grew back within a year. Dr. Joshua Brody is the director of the Lymphoma Immunotherapy Program at the Tisch Cancer Institute at Mount Sinai. He treated William with the so-called cancer vaccine. Most of these cancer vaccines we're talking about are not to prevent cancer, but to treat someone who already has cancer. So instead of a preventative vaccine, we call it a therapeutic vaccine. Vaccines are the next frontier when it comes to fighting cancer. The injection trains the body's immune system to kill cancer cells, and not just once, but again and again if it returns. When talking about vaccines, we're really talking about educating your immune system. Dr. Thomas Marin is an oncologist and the director of the early phase trial unit at the Tisch Cancer Institute. Until we have advances that increase that cure rate from, you know, 20 to 30 percent to 100 percent, we have our work cut out for us. And I think that vaccines are a really promising way to do that. We administered the vaccine to his right clavicle. His team recently presented promising findings from their clinical trials using the cancer vaccines to a prestigious medical conference in Boston. We're taking patients who have tumors growing out of their body, and we are actually creating a vaccine in situ, inside the tumor. And we're basically teaching the immune system inside the tumor what the tumor looks like, because the goal is not just to kill the tumor that we're treating with the vaccine that we're actually injecting with the different components of the vaccine, but also to teach the immune system to recognize and kill the cancer everywhere in the body. Dr. Brody injected William's tumor with a vaccine. You can see from William's PET scan, it worked. And after just treating that one site, all of the lymphomatous metastatic deposits throughout his body melted away. Those are called HeLa cells, and they're still in this freezer from 60, 70 years ago. Dr. Brody taking me inside the lab at Mount Sinai, where scientists and medical researchers are working on cancer vaccines and new treatments with the hope of one day finding a cure for cancer. Something that's been a childhood dream of Dr. Brody, who decided to follow in his father's footsteps. When I was uh, eight years old, we had an, a town essay contest for Father's Day. Uh, I wrote an essay about my dad. It won the contest, and then the reporters came when I was eight to interview me, and they said, what are you going to do when you grow up? And I said, I'm going to cure cancer like my dad. And William is now the beneficiary of Dr. Brody's life's work. On this day, we were with him while he got another checkup. So I'm pretty, pretty happy, pretty excited, yeah. I always get a little nervous around this time. And it's good news again. His scans are still clear. His cancer remains in remission. When folks are in complete remission for years, the chance of staying in remission for a long time gets to be pretty good. We could not honestly say if he's cured or not. The only, you know, for sure test of that would be the test of time. Now William and his wife are planning for the future, maybe a trip to Hawaii for their 23rd wedding anniversary this summer. I count up my blessings every day. And they tell me they hope one day cancer vaccines will be available for every patient with every type of cancer, not just those in clinical trials. They want other families to feel as happy as they do now. So much hope and we're so blessed and so lucky that we found Dr. Brody and it came to this point where, okay, we can breathe now. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.